If you're looking for a tea that you can reuse, check out this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I was looking for a tea that I could reuse hit after hit. And the big reason for that is I was going to the driving range and I was using like 20 or 30 teas because they were breaking in the ground. I was knocking them out uh, in front of me and you can't go and retrieve them when they go out into the driving range like that. And I thought, man, it would just be nice if I had a tea that I could press in the ground and not have to worry about it flying away. So enter this, it's called the brush tea. And this is the pro three pack. And you can see there, we have three different teas there and they're different sizes. And what makes these interesting is that one, they're plastic, so they should be more durable than your traditional wood tea. But on top of that, the top portion of it is actually just like bristles on a brush. And what I want to show you here is I'm going to grab the orange one because that's the longest one. You can see they come in like this clear torpedo like tube, which I actually didn't expect, but it makes a ton of sense to me. So if I just open it like that, okay, the little stopper is in there and you also get a little ball marker. So you get a lot of stuff. So this is the cap to the tube. And now if I just dump out the tea, you can see that here is the tea itself. And it's just kind of this plastic spike. It's got a very wide base, much larger than a normal tea top. Um, I'd say almost twice as large. And then you have these bristles that are very firm and they stand straight up. Now, what's different here is that some of these teas will have much shorter bristles, like the blue one here. This looks like it's only maybe three quarters of an inch. This one looks like it's maybe an inch and a quarter. The black one here looks like it's maybe exactly an inch. So you have three lengths and the ball can sit right on top here. And when you hit it, the club will just kind of move through the bristles. And so you don't have to worry about pressure being put on the tee and ripping it out of the ground. In fact, with this one, with about an inch and a quarter, I can put that one in the ground flush so I can get a lot of support underneath it and then I can actually just hopefully reload this with new balls on the tee without actually having to reset my tee at all. Now the question is, will this sucker work? So let's take it out to the range and find out. So for me, one of the main reasons I picked up these tees is because when you come to the driving range, the tee box can be in really rough shape, patches missing. More than anything, it's uneven. So I thought that this might save me from breaking wooden tees, but also allow me to have a consistent uh, shot lie. So if I just go ahead and put it in the ground here, just like that, and push it in all the way flush, now the brush is only sitting up maybe half an inch. Look at that, let's see if it works. This little brush tea works here. Look at that, still in the ground, ready to use again. I like it. Hey, this is gonna save me a lot of teas and a lot of aggravation when I come out to a driving range that might be in rough shape or if I just wanna save some money on my teas. Hey, if you wanna pick these up, I'll put a link to them in the description below, Peter Rompanda, out.